what's going on everyone thanks for taking the time to watch this video and this video is pretty much about making some making some uh, tacos some jackfruit tacos so what do I got here I got some uh, red onion and that's not cilantro but I will add cilantro that's actually kale and I have a pepper in here a chile de arbol pepper you can pretty much harvest those when they're green. They still pack a punch. Uh, I was just getting a little impatient, so. But they usually turn yellow, those peppers do, but I just threw it in there. I will, this is pretty much like a, my, I'm gonna add more cilantro, some lime, and I will, this is pretty much the topping for the, uh, for the tacos, so. Stay tuned. All right, then I'm gonna add some, a uh, little bit of dressing here that of uh, habaneros. Oh, that stuff is really hot. It's pretty much fermenting in here. Uh, let's see. Just kind of want the juices. Yep. Got a little bit of olive oil, sea salt, and apple cider vinegar. Let's see, kind of drizzle that over there. This might be a little too hot. So I got the peppers and habanero. Just kind of wanted like a dressing here. <laughs> oh my God. <coughs> Whew, that packs a punch. So those are homegrown habaneros and Oh my gosh. So yeah, I think with this, I'm just gonna add lime and avocado. So I forgot to mention, I added some uh, some tomato, right? And then I'm gonna add some lemon and some lemon and what else? Oh, lemon, some black pepper. A little bit of sea sesame oil and some a little bit of salt, just a little bit. Then I will add the wakam or the avocado. What else? What else do we got going on in this? Oh, and cilantro and lime. Yeah, lime. And that'd be the top end for the for the tacos. So drinking a little bit of kombucha. Pineapple and spirulina. How about that? Non-GMO organic. The sprouts has their own. Uh, if anyone's familiar with this or with the store, the store is kind of located in Arizona and Southern California. Don't know if they have it in the East Coast, but that's in the US. Sesame oil. Why sesame oil? I don't know. I just kind of like the taste of it. It's always good. And since I'm not gonna use any olive oil, cause I already, oh, the habanero, that's optional. You don't have to use the habanero. Uh, yeah, that's completely optional. It's like way too hot for some people. So let's get to it. A little bit of, a little, little bit of salt. Just a little bit. There we go. A little bit of black pepper. bit of sesame oil. Got the next Asian fusion going on here. This one you just want to add a little bit, not too much. Alright. In the meantime, eating that right there, Dr. McDougal's. So jackfruit, this is what I'm gonna use. I guess it's already in the I guess it already has teriyaki. I should have got the other one, but I don't mind having a little bit of. Cause, like I said before, you know, got that Asian mix, Mexican fusion thing going on, so it's fine. But they do, I think, regularly they do just have like the jackfruit, uh, where you just stir fry and like barbecue jackfruit stuff like that. Um, but it stays right here, quick and easy, so. Ready in less than five minutes. I wish I did have me a jackfruit though. Yep. Alright, 
So stir fry this and get it going. That's how it looks. Uh, I'm just gonna cut it some more, you know, just chop it up. Kinda it looks like meat, huh? Yeah, chop it up so it gives it, you know, so it's has that feel, you know, and then it's it'll be able to fit in the taco, so. Alright, with the jackfruit, just put it on the pan, put it on medium. Uh, you don't even have to put any oil, really. Uh, I think it already has some of the oils, like the teriyaki sauce and stuff like that. So, all you do is just kind of pack it in there. Uh, I got one right here, ready. A one-man band, look at that. I'm waiting for the lime and aguacate. Alright, there you go, you got the guacamole with the lime. And those are vegan jackfruit tacos. All right.